Okay, so I had another question. Is it okay for a teen to do fasting? Okay, let's cover this. And sometimes you'll hear some negative things about it like, oh my gosh, no, you don't wanna, you don't wanna deprive teenagers of carbohydrates uh, because you know this reason or that reason. That is totally not true. Like you really wanna keep your teens consuming uh, a lot of carbohydrates so we can keep excessive amounts of insulin up. There's so much harm that happens when you raise your insulin way above normal. It's very unhealthy. So anytime someone uh, says something negative or is a naysayer, um, ask them about the dangers of insulin. Why aren't they focusing on that? So this is what I would recommend to start out with any teen. You know, you start off with just skipping the breakfast. Usually when you ask a teen, are you hungry when you wake up for breakfast? A lot of times they'll say no. Well, then don't eat. Go as long as you can. Work up to it gradually to the point where you just skip the whole breakfast. And then you have other people who say, well, no, breakfast is the most important uh, meal of the day and you have to eat it. And I'm like, whoever told you that? Well, okay, guilty. I have actually was in my first book, but I found that that was not a good idea. So you do want to skip the breakfast. This is not the most important meal of the day. So if you had your teen consume food at 12 and then at 6, that would give them an 18-hour fasting period. That would be huge. That would give them so many benefits. Cognitive function, elevation of mood. If they have anxiety or depression, it'll bring them right up. Uh, they'll lose weight. Their acne will go away. I wish I would have known about this when I was a teenager. I had really bad acne. I didn't know what to do. I just thought that I just need to scrub the skin harder with soap. That advice didn't work. But you want to make sure you do it healthily. You don't want to just do fasting. You want to do healthy keto with fasting. You don't want to just eat junk food. You want to do lots of greens to provide the nutrients, huge salads. Realize that you're not starving your teen. Um, you would have to really have them do it a longer period of time and not give them any nutrients. And that's not happening. Then the next question is, will it stunt their growth? Well, I have a question. Out of anything that you could possibly do, what is the action or thing that you can do that will increase the most growth hormone? Yes, it's fasting. So fasting will spike growth hormone more than any other activity, including exercise. You could stimulate growth hormone by 1300% in women and up to 2000% in men. I mean, growth hormone actually helps you grow as a teen. It's good for weight loss as well. So you want to provide the nutrients from the healthy keto so they have everything they need. And we're not reducing the calories, okay? So you want to make sure that your teen has all enough healthy foods. We're not depriving them of calories. And we're just depriving them of the frequency of eating. That's all we're doing. We're just having them eat less frequent. The hunger uh, goes away. The cravings go away. They feel better. They're sharper mentally in school. If you load them with the carbs, they're going to be tired through the day. They're going to want to take naps. They're going to be kind of doping off and falling asleep in school like a lot of kids do. Okay, so electrolytes are important. B vitamins are important. Sea salt. These are the three things are a must for any teen, in fact, anyone that's doing fasting. So there you have it. There's the summary. And even if your child's not trying to lose weight, I think it's a really good idea to do this for other benefits, mainly for brain function and for health reasons. Thanks for watching. Hey, if you're liking this content, please subscribe now and I will actually keep you updated on future videos.